Okay, this is the second of the eight pieces of brocade standing set. This next exercise is called drawing the bow like shooting vultures. This is a metaphor for the ushers of death, so to speak. Killing the ushers of death. This, I've seen this exercise before it was assembled into the eight brocades as a single exercise in some old Taoist canons. Um, two aspects of this exercise. This exercise will help the massage internally, the heart, lungs, spleen, stomach, liver, gallbladder, and kidneys. Um, and using this hand position, the Jianju or the sword secret, you can project heat from the pericardium nine point at the tip of the finger to release some of the heat in the upper part of the body. Again, these are designed to help prepare the body for uh, the receiving energy and storing energy. Um, so they help to balance the energies and the emotions of the body essentially. This one largely massages the organs and helps to release extra heat from the upper part of the body. Um, in doing it, the one becomes the two. One turn makes a, both a yin and a yang action. This is something that's important to understand. Also, when turning the, try to feel your own centrifugal force. So I could turn like this and pull my arm, but I want to feel the arm being thrown out away from me and creating an openness. And your own gravitational forces will keep it from going too far if you actually listen to those forces, which I recommend you do. So anyhow, I'll do a couple of these just to show you. And again, I would recommend utilizing the ha sound silently to let ex extra heat out from the upper chest cavity. Okay? So we start in a natural stance. We step, we hook step open and come up into a horse stance. We lower the fingers coil the fingers down into two fists that are embracing the belly. If I stick my middle finger out, I should be able to touch my navel. So I don't want to be up here or down here, but you just come back like this and you'll feel this spot. Okay, I'll first turn to the left 45 degrees. I don't want to overturn and torque my knees and roll my, defect my posture. I want to turn 45 degrees to put this hand out and turn back. And that has a, a sort of gathering type of energy to it. So do that with an inhale, another inhalation. And we make this hand and we sit at side center and then we exhale and turn and open. Okay. To this position, we don't go out this way and crack the quaff but it's, got, it's within our natural, uh, you know, our peripheral vision, and we won't break the structure of that if we do this. To here, and then I'll do it the other side. Now you notice a lot of people do this, which while it stretches this side, it blocks this side, meridian-wise, and They'll also turn the head. When I turn the head, it breaks my internal structure. Um, to project with the eyes in this direction is fine, but at the end, I have to come to center. If I keep looking this way, I'm actually at a center, according to what I feel in my body. Uh, different people do it different ways. Experiment with them. I've had a lot of success with this way, though. Anyhow, we'll do it again. Inhale and then 
ass up. You would do eight of these on each side. Um, there's other aspects of this I'll discuss in another video, but I highly recommend you check this out. Thank you for your time.